Hey there guys, it's the Butter Baron here, and today we've got another episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon Rated Battles Season 2. Um, this is the second episode of Season 2, obviously. Okay. Um, anyways, uh, we got this team here. It's, uh, hasn't been bad so far. Zerkatry has been awesome. So has Weavile and Garchomp and Metagross. Not so much the rest. Anyways, uh, we'll just uh, do a quick, quick overview of the team. We've got a simple Focus Sash B-Barrel with Curse, Amnesia, Rest, and Waterfall. We've got uh, we've got Bright Powder Klefki with Swagger, Attract, Draining Kiss, and Thunder Wave. We've got Zerka Tree, Choice Scarf Zerka Tree. It's got Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, uh, Dazzling Gleam, and Grass Knot for, I guess, the coverage. I mean, sometimes you want those extra super effective hits. Um, we got Life Orb, Weavile, Fake Out, Night Slash, Icicle Crash, and Ice Shard. We've got uh, Ground DMZ, Garchomp, uh, Earthquake, obviously, uh, Rock Slide, Iron Head, and Dragon Claw. And finally, we've got Assault Vest, uh, Metagross. It's a, it has a little bit of speed investment, which is just enough to outspeed a lot of things. Um, it's got Meteor Mash, Rock Slide, Earthquake, and Zen, Zen Headbutt. So let's get into the battle. I don't have a Mega on this team. I know you're thinking, what about Metagross? No, it's, it's, it's Assault Vest. Uh, I don't think I have the Metagross side yet. I think that's one of the ones you buy at the Battle Tree. Uh, we're back at 1500 after two battles, which is kind of funny. 1434 from Tokyo, Japan, uh, if I read that correctly. Okay, so he's got a Dunsparce. This is obviously like a sand team. So it's probably going to be Mega Zard X. That's a lot of physical on this team, though. I don't know. Probably Mega Zardex. Um, we're gonna... We're gonna lead... He has two dark types. I'm not gonna bring Glefki. It's just it's too much of a risk. Um, we're gonna lead at Weavile and... Weavile, Garchomp. We're going to bring Metagross, and we're going to bring Zerka Tree in case all else fails. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> Luckily, I don't have to record any more than this uh, today because uh, I've already recorded two um, uh, episodes of Zelda in advance because you can't really save your progress and turn off the game during uh, a dungeon but that's fine um, okay so I led Excadrill Mimikyu that's good for me I think yeah, I think that's definitely good for me. Except for Garchomp. Garchomp might have a tough time here. Um, we're gonna fake out the Excadrill. And we're going to Iron Head the Mimikyu. Hopefully we get the double flinch. There's there's one flinch. 100% one, guaranteed. Iron Head. That's going to break Sash, or Disguise. I don't know why I said Sash. Um, Excadrill flinched. Mimikyu's got the Z-move. Of course it does. Twinkle Tackle. Well, Garchomp's dead. That's unfortunate. But at least I broke the Disguise before uh, he did too much. If this is on Weavile, I'm going to be extremely surprised. Yeah. 
uh, I thought I, I knew I was going to be on guard so. I mean, you also hit Weavile super effective for that, so I mean, you could have done that as well. Uh, we're just going to bring in Metagross. Um, Assault Vest isn't going to do much good here. Uh, we're going to Night Slash. No. No, Icicle. No, because I can miss. I'll go for the Night Slash onto Excadrill. And I'll go for the... Go for the Meteor Mash onto Mimikyu. Withdraws Mimikyu. Good play, good play. Into a Charizard. Is that going to be Mega Charizard... X or Y? Because I know it's going to be Mega. There's no way it's not Mega. No one uses regular Charizard anymore. There's an Earthquake. Oh, well, we switched it in so we could Earthquake safely. That's a good play. It's a really good play. The only thing is, I survived both things. Uh, that's going to do some damage onto Charizard. Not going to give me a, uh, an attack boost, unfortunately. We're going to go for the Night Slash onto Excadrill. Yeah, and we're going to we're gonna Rock Slide. Charizard's probably gonna kill us. Yeah, there's the Charizard X. That's what I was thinking. Kind of what I, what I was afraid of. There's the Night Slash. Excadrill goes down. Weavile goes down as well to the Life Orb. That's going to be a Flare Blitz, and Metagross, unfortunately, goes down. That kind of sucks. Alright, so we have one Pokemon left, and it's Zerkatree. I think he only has one left as well. Yeah, I, th I think he only has one left. Nope. Right. Mimikyu. Derp. Forgot about that. Luckily, we do have the Dazzling Gleam. So that's awesome. Uh, but it's only regularly effective on Charizard. I want to go for the D-Gleam, but I just don't know if it's going to be enough damage. To, I, mean, I, 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 I think I have to. I think I have to. Uh, choice Scarf Zerkatry with the Dazzling Gleam. I'm kind of glad I carry that coverage now. Uh, there's the Play Rough. It's going to do only half damage. And there's the Flare Blitz to finish the battle. Well, that kind of sucks. A little bit. Just a little. That's fine. <sighs> there wasn't much I could do. There wasn't much I could do. My team building skills aren't aren't at all perfect, uh, and whether they're even good at all is uh, subjective. So, um, we're not gonna save that. We never save battles, so we're not gonna start now. Um, we're gonna do one more battle, at least one more battle. Fourteen eighty two. So that set us back quite a few points. Uh, we're just going to go random music. That'll work right there. That's good. That's good right there. That'll work. Um, I'm trying to see any... I mean, half of my team's weak to ground. Two of them are weak to suit are pretty weak to fighting. Um, okay, fifteen thirty-three. Yeah, that's kind of what I would expect for for a fifteen thirty-three. That's gonna be a contrary. Um, it's gonna be a contrary. Uh, I forget Malamar. Almost forgot what it was called. Um, was actually going to call it Topsy Turvy because of its signature move. Apparently, is more memorable than it itself is. 
Okay, so that's a Mega Kangaskhan. 100%, no doubt. Uh, what does he bring against my team? Does he bring Tapu Bulu or Tapu Coco? Mm. I would think he brings Bulu because he's probably scared to death of my Garchomp. And this is a Charizard. Oh, it might be that Z-Move Kangaskhan that we saw. That changes things. I don't know why people are using that, but okay. Uh, we're gonna lead Weavile. And he's only got one dark type, so I'll, I'll bring Klefki. Uh, we'll go, go Garchomp, and we'll go Metagross. I haven't really used the B-Barrel a lot, because the one time we did try to use it, it kind of failed oh, badly. Hopefully I picked good choices. Is this going to be another AFK person? I mean, I'll take the easy win if, if they're going to be AFK the whole time. But, I mean, that's, that's not very interesting for you guys, though. That's the only thing. Alright. Can't read what, what that says, but... Yeah. Okay, so that's Weavile Klefki. Whimsicott Charizard. So it looks like it's going to be Z Mega Zard Y and not Mega Kangaskhan. So I think I predicted correctly on that. I can... I can fake out the Whimsicott. And I can attract the Charizard. He doesn't know I have attract. Does not know. But now he does, because he protected, which is a good play. It's going to be a fake out, so no tailwind for him. It's going to be a straight uh, Icicle Crash next turn. Now he knows I have a Tract. But if he, go, if he goes for anything other than the Protect, he's pretty much screwed, because I'm just going to go for another Attract. So you can't really win, dude. You can't really win right here. Although if I get hit by a, uh, a heat wave, it's going to hurt, especially in the sun. It's probably going to KO both Klefki and Weavile if he actually gets it off. Taunt. Good play, good play. So that's, that's going to suck. I forgot Whimsicott uh, usually run Taunt. It's hard to remember everything about Pokemon battles. But now it's dead, so... I can just switch out Klefki, bring it back in later, and we can do it that way. Charizard is not Mega. Interesting. Weavile's gonna go down. It's more of a class glass cannon kind of Pokemon. It can't really take much damage. Um, we're gonna bring in Garchomp. I'm gonna switch into I'm gonna switch into Metagross because I can't really do anything right now on Klefki, anyways. Um, okay, so that Tapu Bulu is kind of scaring me a little bit. Uh, we're gonna go for the we're gonna go for the Rock Slide. We're gonna go for a switch into Metagross. I don't really. I don't typically switch that often, but sometimes I feel, uh, there's just times, there's just times when it's necessary if I want to win. Here's Metagross. There's the Charizard X. So it is Megazard, but it's Megazard X. That's a bit scary, but that means I can use my Ground Z move on it, as long as it doesn't like kill me. Oh, well, that sucks. Of course it avoids. The one time I need Rock Slide to hit and flinch, it, it, it just gets avoided. Uh, okay, save. So Garchomp goes down. Rough Skin's going to take a little bit uh, out of Charizard's health. Um, now Klefki can, can come back in and attract, which is good. Which is really good. 
and then it can do all sorts of other shenanigans. Uh, so we'll do that. And of course it can also drain and kiss, which is good. Even though it's not really super effective against Charizard, like, at all. Um, I'm gonna go for the Attract again. No, I'm not, because he's going to protect. If I know anything about Pokemon battling, he's going to protect. And if he doesn't, I'm going to be very sad. Uh, I'm gonna Thunder Wave Tapu Bulu. I'm going to... Going to Rock Slide. No, should I Rock Slide? Yeah, I might as well. Might as well try. Okay, so he's going to withdraw Charizard instead of... Interesting. He's going to withdraw it instead of protecting. So he doesn't like using Protect except on the first turn, apparently. So that's a Thunder Wave. There's a Rock Slide. It's going to be free damage onto Malamar. Anyways. Bulu's gonna go with the Wood Hammer. Not gonna do that much, uh, considering it's not very effective, I don't think. Was it very effective? Uh, it's, it's definitely not super effective, I know that. I'm not sure if it's neutral or resisted on Metagross, but it still did a lot of damage. It must be like... Did we just see a Life Orb? Uh, I don't exactly remember. Oh, that's going to be another taunt from Malamar, isn't it? Yeah, that's exactly what it's going to be. So I'm going to Drain and Kiss to avoid that. I'm going to Meteor Mash Tapu Bulu. Oh no, it's a Night Slash. See, I don't come across Malamar that often. Nice crit. I'm not sure if that mattered. Get Drain and Kiss. It's gonna do decent damage. Blue is paralyzed. Clefty versus the world. And now if Clefty uh, gets taunted, the game is over. The game is literally over that Clefty gets taunted. So I'm gonna Drain and Kiss again. Because that's really all I can do. Good protect. Good protect there. Uh, hopefully, Bulu gets paralyzed. Nice. Awesome. That's exactly what I needed. Needed that full para on top of Bulu. So. I'm going to drain and kiss again. I'm just gonna keep spamming that raining kiss until he goes down. Okay, he's gonna withdraw into Charizard. That's still gonna do damage. And now I can just attract. That's the, oh, he's probably gonna actually protect that, uh, the attract, okay. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. You know, Tapu Bulu, if you want, if you really want to do that much damage to me, uh, I think I'll let you, but, uh, I'm gonna take some of your health, uh, to compensate. Thanks. I know Charizard's just gonna get, yeah. I thought I would protect, but no, it didn't. He knows he, he knew he won. He knew he, he had won. That's fine. Two wins in a row, or two losses in a row. That's fine. Uh, that's not really an uncommon thing in this uh, series. It's all right. Not really used to the team yet. Only used it about four battles. Yeah, that sounds about right. Just two battles for the first episode of season two. No, because I did it before that. Or did I? I don't remember. No, because the last episode had Bee Barrel in it. Of the first season had Bee Barrel in it. Never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, anyways, uh, that's going to be all for today. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Let's check our rating. 
Um, my top, uh, my shiny Tapu Koko is in the uh, Pokepelago still. It's being, tra it's already trained in special attack, and now it's being trained in speed. So that's pretty good. Um, go and get your shiny Tapu Koko from uh, Wonder Trade. Connect to the internet if you're in Europe or uh, Europe or Americas. The Americas, I think. Yeah. And that's going to be it. Uh, uh, still deciding whether to get a Twitter. Uh, 1468. Uh, did not want to go into another battle. That's going to be all. Butter Baron.